to my YouTube channel. So today I'm actually in somewhere different. I'm just basically just sitting in my kitchen at the kitchen table. Kitchen table? Yeah, dining table. I'm not entirely sure. You probably know what I mean. I'm basically just sitting at the table in my kitchen. And as you can tell by the title, it's a little bit of a different one for you today. So basically, as some of you are probably fully aware by now, I am actually celiac. And with that, I am actually lactose intolerant as well. So I'm basically not allowed lactose. I'm not allowed gluten. So basically I thought I'd do a little bit of a taste test of basically all the kind of gluten free and kind of dairy free um, Easter eggs that I could kind of get. Just because I know that Easter eggs are super super expensive whenever you don't want like gluten or milk or anything like that in. So I basically thought I'd give them a little bit of a taste test just to kind of you kind of might know what ones are kind of the better ones. I mean obviously our taste test might not be exactly the same. I might not like things that you like and you might not like things that I like. But I mean, I just thought it'd be a little bit of fun and just you can kind of see what kind of Easter eggs are kind of out there really as well. So basically I grabbed quite a few Easter eggs. I'm basically just looking behind you. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I've got about eight Easter eggs. So I mean, I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna go, but I mean, hopefully it's gonna go quite well. So yeah, let's get straight into trying all these Easter eggs, guys. So like I said, I did actually pick out quite a few different Easter eggs. And sorry if the lighting keeps going a bit funny. Basically, I'm as I said, I'm in my kitchen today, so I haven't actually got my ring light or anything. I'm basically just using natural light, but the sun kind of keeps going in and out from behind the clouds. There's the window and there's like another door window thing there. So I mean, if it keeps going a little bit like, not shadowy, but if the light keeps going differently, it's basically because it's natural it's sunlight that I'm using today. But yeah, anyway, enough of that. Let's just get straight into it. So the first kind of Easter egg that I picked was this one. Now it's actually called a butter milk artesian confectionery. I mean, hopefully I've said that right. I will show you the box in a minute just in case I haven't. But it's basically a free from Easter egg. It says it's free from gluten, dairy, and it also says it's suitable for vegans. And it just basically looks like that. So I just basically thought I'd give this one a go just to kind of see what it tastes like. I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, you're not really gonna know unless you try it. Oh yeah, it's kind of one of those ones. So yeah, that was the first one that I picked up. And then the second Easter egg that I picked up was actually a white chocolate one. I basically picked up a white chocolate one because I thought it'd be a little bit different to just like a normal dark or normal chocolate, really. So yeah, this one is actually Sainsbury's own brand and it says it's free from wheat, gluten and milk. And it just basically looks like that. Now I'm actually really, really excited to try this one. Just because when I was like really, really, really young and I didn't basically know that I was celiac or I didn't know that I was like lactose intolerant, then I actually really used to like like the milk chocolate buttons. Like literally that was one of like my favorite chocolates ever. So I'm actually really excited to try this just in case it kind of tastes a little bit similar to kind of what I remember the white chocolate buttons tasting like. I mean, hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, I'm actually really, really excited to try this one. Basically, I think I'll show you all of the Easter eggs that I picked up and then I will taste test them after I've shown you each one that I've got, just because I mean, that's just the way that I'm gonna do it today, really. So yeah, I'll show you all the Easter eggs first and then I'll give them a taste test after. Now, the next one that I picked up wasn't actually from a free from a section. So I mean, it wasn't as expensive if I remember, because I mean, I know that any kind of Easter egg that's labeled free from, they actually just like triple the price of it, just because basically, I don't know, it hasn't got any milk or anything in, so I suppose, I don't know if the substitutes are dear or anything like that, but all I know is they are ridiculously expensive. But I actually discovered this one, which is the Green and Black's Organic Easter Egg. Now, it's actually dark chocolate. Now, in the ingredients of this, it doesn't actually say that it contains any milk or gluten. It just basically says it may contain nuts, but nuts, again, aren't in the ingredients. Obviously, it just may contain them. So, obviously, if you're kind of got an anaphylactic nut allergy, then maybe it's probably not the best thing to try. But, I mean... There's no milk or kind of gluten in the ingredients of this one. So it is actually dark chocolate. Now most dark chocolate obviously doesn't contain the milk anyway. Or some does, but the majority of actual like real real dark chocolate doesn't actually contain milk or gluten. So I mean, we're going to give this one a go and see if it's any good as well. So yeah, that was the third one that I picked up. Now the next one that I picked up, I actually picked up in Asda. And again, it was a free from one, I think I said free, bit funny then, didn't I? But it's basically a free from Easter egg selection box. But the first one in the pack is chocolate egg with raspberry pieces. The second one in the pack is white chocolate egg with vanilla. And the third one in the pack is dark chocolate egg with cocoa nibs. I'm not entirely sure what they're gonna taste like, but that is what it kind of looks like. So again, you've got a good selection in there. So if you don't like one of them, I mean, hopefully you're gonna like Another one really. So again, I can't actually remember if I told you or not, but I did actually pick up this selection box thing 
from within Asda. It is actually from the Asda Extra Special range. So I mean, hopefully it tastes pretty good. But again, I will try a little bit of all three of them just because I mean, why not? Might as well let you know what I think of them. And again, just in case any of you are wondering, obviously I do have quite a lot of Easter eggs here, but just be reassured that literally none of them will be going to waste. In case any of you are wondering what is gonna happen with all these Easter eggs, obviously they will all be eaten. I'm just gonna try a little bit of each of them for you guys today. The next Easter egg that I picked up was literally probably one of my favourite ones. I mean, again, I haven't actually tried this one before, but I mean, the packaging looks like it's going to be really, really good. I mean, if this one's a little bit of a letdown, I mean, they've done well on the packaging to make me pick it up anyway. This brand is actually from Kinnerton. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not entirely sure. But it's basically just chocolate. It's a delicious dark chocolate edge and large bar. Now, this one is dairy-free, egg-free, gluten-free and nut-free. So I mean, again, there's a lot of kind of allergy friendly packaging there. But yeah, that's basically what it looks like. I mean, if that packaging doesn't make you want to eat it, then literally I'm not entirely sure what will. But I mean, I just thought this packaging looks really, really good. And it kind of looked like the kind of Easter egg and a chocolate bite inside would actually be pretty tasty, really. So yeah, I picked this one up just because I mean, again, like I said, I thought the packaging looked really good. And I mean, hopefully the Easter egg inside actually tastes as good as it looks. But yeah, we'll give that one a go in a second. Now the next Easter egg that I picked up was actually one from Moo Free. Now I have actually tried some Moo Free things in the past. I mean, not all of them were my favourite if I'm absolutely honest. But I mean, some of their stuff is actually alright. I've never tried the Easter egg before. So I mean, hopefully it's not going to be a massive letdown. But again, we will wait and see and give it a go. Now this one is an organic chunky orange egg god i literally could hardly speak then but yeah it's an organic cheeky orange egg and it says it's dairy gluten and soya free and that is basically what it looks like so you probably may recognize the moo free brand i mean it is kind of one of like the free from brands that are in a lot of supermarkets so i mean hopefully it's going to be good it is very like kid focused the packaging and sometimes i do find that things that are in like more kind of kid packaging do actually taste slightly better. I'm not entirely sure if it's probably because it's got a lot more sugar or something like that, you know, artificial colouring, something like that. I'm not entirely sure. But sometimes I do find that kind of like kid packaged food is actually pretty tasty. So I mean, we shall give this one a go in a second. And then the last kind of chocolate Easter item that I picked up wasn't actually an Easter egg. Now, if any of you are aware, I went to Ashford Outlet, I think it was like a week ago or something like that now, and there is actually a Lindt chocolate shop there. Now, we went in there and all of their Easter eggs literally contained milk or they contained gluten. There was none that literally were gluten and dairy free. And the only thing that we could actually find was a Lindt chocolate bunny. Now, this is it's a Lindt gold bunny and it says it's dark chocolate at 60%. Now 60% isn't actually that dark for dark chocolate. It does actually go way, way higher than that. The only thing that I would say about this is that it does say it may contain hazelnuts and it does say that it may contain milk as well. But it is only a may contain, it's not actually in the ingredients. This one looks really, really cute and it is the kind of only Easter egg, non-Easter egg that will kind of be featuring in this. So yeah, that is basically all of the chocolate that I picked up. Like I said, it is actually a lot of chocolate. I am fully, fully aware of that. But I mean, like I said, none of this will be going to waste because I mean, that'd just be pretty pointless really because obviously all of these Easter eggs weren't free. They did actually cost a little bit of money, especially the ones that are packaged free from, they were the most expensive if I remember rightly. But again, hopefully they're really, really good and we'd have found some good ones within this. But yeah, let's get placing all of them. So the first one that I think I showed you was this buttermilk one. So let's quickly open this one up and see what it tastes like. So once you open this one up, it is literally just the chocolate. I mean, it isn't in any kind of like foil packaging or anything like that. I mean, sometimes I do find if they are in foil packaging, then you can like at least kind of like make them last a little bit longer. Whereas this one literally, there's kind of air that can kind of get in this side. I'm not entirely sure if you can see. So I'm not entirely sure how long this chocolate is going to last. So I mean, this is probably one that we're gonna have to eat pretty quickly. But yeah, let's give this one a quick go. So I probably didn't manage to break that in the most practical way possible. Half of it fell inside, but I managed to get this little bit out here. But yeah, that's the kind of bit that broke off. Yeah, let's give it a little go now. I'm just gonna quickly grab a drink because otherwise you're probably gonna see all chocolate around my mouth. She just has some all just hopefully I haven't actually got any kind of chocolate around my teeth anymore. But yeah, no, that chocolate was actually really, really nice. You can definitely taste the orange within it. That kind of tastes like what I kind of remember. What was it called? Like it was in a blue bar and it has like an orange 
what's it called? You can probably tell that I literally haven't had normal chocolate in ages because I can't remember what that bar is called. Is it like Terry's Chocolate Orange or something like that you think of that you can kind of get in a bar and you can kind of get it in that round kind of chocolate thing. That kind of tastes a little bit like that if I'm honest with you. I mean, from what I remember anyway, I haven't had normal chocolate in like well over like 10 years now. So I mean, my taste buds probably aren't the best at comparing them, but that is kind of what I remember Terry's Chocolate Orange tasting like, if I'm honest with you. It is actually really, really nice that one. And I mean, you can definitely taste the chocolate orange from within it, but yeah, I literally could have quite a bit more of that one. And luckily there's no tin foil around it, so it needs to go quite quickly, I mean good excuses ever as to why i need to eat it quickly but you yeah, know that was actually a really really nice one if any of you are wondering i can't actually remember how much i got this one for but i'm sure i picked it up in asda i mean i might not have done i literally picked all of these easter eggs up from either asda or sainsbury's apart from the lint chocolate bunny literally that's the only places that i'd have picked up any of these easter eggs from i would definitely recommend that buttermilk one so the next one that I am going to be tasting is the Sainsbury's Milk Chocolate one. Now I am actually really, really excited about this one because I mean, like I said, I did actually really, really like the um, white chocolate buttons when I was younger. So I mean, hopefully this one tastes good. Now again, this one doesn't actually come in any kind of tin foil. I'm not entirely sure if the whole like foil rounds and Easter egg things are old now because now I'm looking at these, not a lot of them actually have the foil around the eggs. The Easter eggs with dairy and do still have the foil around. I'm not entirely sure why these ones don't because they're definitely not going to last as long without them around it. But yeah, let's give this one a go at none of the less. So as I tried to break that one, it literally fell into a million and one pieces as you can see. But I did actually manage to get just this little bit out to give it a good old taste test. But yeah, maybe there's like a hack to opening these carefully. I just haven't managed to find out how to do it yet. Yeah, let's give this one a go. Now, that white chocolate one was literally so, so good. You can already tell as I was trying to do this while I was eating. I mean, I'm not entirely sure if it looked that good or not. But I mean, it probably didn't. But yeah, that one was literally so, so goody. It did kind of have like a little bit of a twinge of like the old milk buttons. But I mean, there's kind of like a similar kind of resemblance. I mean, it's definitely not horrible, but I mean, it's definitely not as good as I remember the kind of milk white chocolate button things that were like round when I was younger. But yeah, no, it does actually still taste really, really good. I am quite a big like white chocolate kind of fan i mean it's not a great selection available for those that are like dairy and gluten free but i mean that one is actually not that bad if i'm honest with you if you definitely need like white chocolate then i mean definitely give that one a go because it is actually really nice if i had to choose a favorite out of the two that i've chosen so far it'd probably definitely still be this white chocolate one that i've literally just tried because i mean it was really really good but yeah let's move on to the next one i can't actually remember the order that i showed you these in but I think the next one was either this one or the as the selection one. But I'm going to give this one a try next. So yeah, it's the dark chocolate one by Green and Blacks. But yeah, let's open this one up and see how it tastes. And look, once you open it up, it does actually have the foil one, which is so, so good. So this one is definitely going to last the longest out of the lot of them. Because once you've opened it, you can definitely kind of like reseed it and reuse it. So I mean, I know that the foil definitely exists. Now this is what I was on about earlier, in case any of you were wondering just that it's got like some kind of covering around it so that you can kind of reseal it once you've opened it but yeah let's give this one a go now so this is the little bit that i managed to break off of this one but yeah let's give it a go now if i'm honest with you that one wasn't my favorite the packaging is really really good because as you can see you can kind of like reseal it obviously i haven't probably resealed it yet because I just like broke a little bit off. But like I said, you are actually able to reseal it because it does have like the foil around it. But that one definitely wasn't my favourite one out of these at all. I mean, it just tastes really, really dark. I was looking at the box to see if it said it had like some kind of like tinge to it. It doesn't taste like it's completely plain chocolate, but it doesn't actually say that it's got anything in it. Maybe just slightly my taste buds where I've had a few. But yeah, this one definitely wasn't my favourite. In fact, it's probably the least favourite one that I've had so far. But I mean, I've still got quite a few to go, so it might not be the worst one overall. But I mean, out of the ones that I've tried so far, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed because there are some actual green and black like chocolates in like the chocolate bars that are actually really, really good that are like dark chocolate. I'm just not a massive fan of this Easter egg. And you never know, hopefully it's some of the next ones are actually as good as the first two were. I mean, maybe I've literally just peaked too early with having them two and 
just none of the others are going to be as good i mean hopefully they are especially that one that looked really good i mean this one to be fair looks quite good as well but from the outside if he's like that's quite a good packaging isn't it like you'd think it'd be really really nice but i'm just saying that i definitely preferred the first two over this one but i mean that's all right let's just move straight on to the next one so the next one is obviously gonna be these three selection ones from asda i'll actually give a bit of each of these a go and then kind of let you know what my thoughts are on each of them but yeah so let's open these ones up and so I don't know if you can probably see, you probably can, but literally the majority of them are literally smashed to smithereens as we try to break them smallly, smallly as we try to like break them a little bit. Obviously the white one's the only one that literally kind of survived the breaking, but I mean hopefully they're going to all taste all right. Again, none of them have any of that kind of foil that the green and blacks do, so I mean they're literally going to have to be eaten pretty quickly again because... I mean, I don't know, I just personally find that when there's not any kind of foil or anything like that around them, then they just don't particularly last as long. I could probably put some kind of like foil around them myself, but I mean, it's just trying to find it. I don't know if I've got any left in the house. But yeah, literally I'll give all of these a go and let you know what they kind of taste like. So this first one that I'm going to be trying is the chocolate egg with raspberry pieces. I don't know if you can kind of see, I mean, you might be able to but you can kind of see the raspberry pieces within this chocolate. But yeah, I'll give it a go for you. In that one, you can definitely taste the raspberries. The raspberry in it is quite strong. It's not overpowering or anything like that, but you can literally really, really taste it. So if you're not a massive fan of raspberries, then that one probably isn't the best idea for you because literally you can really, really taste it like go around your mouth as soon as you kind of like bite into it. But yeah, that one was actually all right. Again, not my favorite. That one's probably my least favorite one that I've tried so far. But I mean, I'm not a massive raspberry fan if I'm honest with you. Yeah, that one was all right for a non raspberry lover. But yeah, let's try the milk chocolate one now. So I've got a little bit again. Now that milk chocolate one actually says on the box that it's white chocolate egg with vanilla. Now if I'm honest with you, I couldn't overly taste the vanilla within it. It wasn't like an overpowering vanilla or anything like that. Like if I'm honest, I probably wouldn't have known that the vanilla was in there if it didn't say it on the box. So it's really not that overpowering at all. So if you're not a massive vanilla fan, then I literally wouldn't worry about that at all because you really, really can't taste it that much, if I'm honest with you. If I was to compare the Asda white chocolate with the Sainsbury's white chocolate, obviously the Sainsbury's one doesn't have the vanilla in it and the Asda one does. But if I'm honest with you, the Sainsbury's one probably does just take the edge a little bit just because you've kind of got like, it's kind of like a more richer white chocolate. I mean, it might be because the vanilla's in it that you can't really taste the white chocolate as much. I mean, obviously you can still taste it, it's white chocolate. I mean, but it's not as kind of strong as the Sainsbury's one. And I am really, really a lover of white chocolate. So I mean, the Sainsbury's one just kind of takes edge just a little bit for me on that white Easter egg. But yeah, let's try the last one of this selection box, which is a dark chocolate edge, edge, a dark chocolate egg with cocoa, cocoa, cocoa nibs. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I mean, we'll give it a go. So we've got this little bit here. So that cocoa nibs one, again, wasn't my favorite chocolate. I definitely preferred the buttermilk one, which was the first one that I tried. And to be honest with you, I don't think that one was dark chocolate. I think it was just normal milk chocolate. Obviously the dairy free version I should probably gathered by now. But yeah, overall this as the selection box, I mean I wasn't a massive fan of the majority of them. I mean my best one out of the whole three was the white chocolate one. But then saying that the Sainsbury's white chocolate Easter egg definitely was by far better in my opinion. But yeah, so overall that as the selection box, I mean just wasn't really cutting it for me. I mean, maybe I'm just a really, really fussy chocolate eater. There's definitely nothing overall wrong with them, like in in general but I mean there's just others that I have preferred that I've tasted prior to these ones really but yeah that is my as the selection box of verdict so next up we have this one which is the Kinnerton Just Chocolate now this was one of the ones that I was actually really really excited about so I mean let's give it a go and tuck right in really 
So just in case any of you are wondering what comes in the box, obviously this one did say on the box that it came with a large bar. Now the bar is actually free from dairy, egg, gluten and nuts, just like it says on the box for the egg. But I mean, this is what it looks like. So it is a really, really large bar. Like it says, it's quite like a big one if I'm honest with you. Like normally you don't get an extra bar or if you do, then they're normally not as big as this. But yeah, so this is a really, really good bonus about getting this egg because obviously you get a good old bar of chocolate in with it as well. But yeah, that's what the bar looks like. And then the egg again has the kind of tin foil around it just because I mean, it's just going to make it last longer. I really do like... If you can't already tell when I really do like it when they come with like the foil around the outside because I mean, like I said you can just kind of make the Easter egg last a bit longer in my opinion. But yeah, so a really really good bonus again about getting the egg from this brand. So once I broke it off, I managed to get this little bit from it. So let's just tuck in and give it a little go. So I literally just gave that one a go as you could probably see and I mean that one was definitely not my favourite in the slightest. In fact it's probably the least favourite one that I've enjoyed today. I know I said that about the green and blacks one but I mean that one did kind of still taste like chocolate. This one I'm just not entirely sure. I'm just not a massive fan if I'm honest with you. It's definitely the least chocolatey one out of the lot of them that just doesn't contain dairy. Sometimes you do find that though with like certain dairy products, they just don't taste like normal chocolate would. I mean, obviously they're not kind of normal chocolate because they don't have dairy in. I mean, I probably should stop comparing them to what I remember dairy chocolate tasting like. Just because I mean, it might not actually taste like how I think it remembers because I haven't had it in so long. But I mean, I just remember that it used to taste really, really good. And I mean, unless I find it really good tasting at chocolate, then I mean, I'm just not a massive fan. But yeah, that one was definitely not my favourite in the slightest. But I mean, that doesn't matter because I mean, I found quite a good selection of chocolate that I actually really, really like. But yeah, that was the last egg that I actually had to try today. And the last one to try is this Lynn Chocolate Bunny. Now, I actually have quite good hopes about this just because a lint is normally pretty good. But I mean, let's just open it and see what it kind of tastes like. Now, this lint chocolate bunny one was actually the really, really hard to break. So I just kind of got a little bit off the end of it. I don't really know if you can see. I'm still not completely into it, if I'm honest with you, because it is quite thick and I didn't want to like break my hand trying to open it or anything like that. But yeah, so I just cut a little bit off to try on the end. But yeah, let's give these... Oh, it's going everywhere. Let's give these little bits that I got a go. Now, as I kind of expected, because it was lint chocolate, even though I had like the tiniest bit that you could probably have, I mean, it did still taste really, really good. These lint chocolate bunnies were actually really expensive. I think there was like two for six pound or two for five pound, but it was actually quite expensive for the size of them. But again, they are lint chocolate, so I mean, so, I mean, you've kind of got to expect to kind of pay a little bit more just because, I mean, even lint chocolate that has milk in is kind of expensive. I mean, when you kind of compare the prices from, like, as that and same with lint chocolate, it's definitely more expensive, but it does taste really, really good. So, I personally don't mind paying a little bit extra for chocolate if I know it's going to be really, really good. And that lint chocolate bunny is actually really, really good, if I'm honest with you. Again, that was one of my absolute favourites from today. So I mean, hopefully from me trying all these kind of Easter eggs that I had done today, you kind of get a little bit of a kind of idea as to what kind of Easter eggs are good for kind of gluten and dairy free. I mean, maybe you like some of the ones that I don't. I mean, let me know if you've ever tried any of these or if you are kind of gluten free or dairy free or any or if you kind of enjoyed watching this video. Obviously, it's a little bit of a different one for me today just because I mean, I thought it was coming up to Easter. I thought I might as well do something a little bit different give a few easter eggs a kind of taste it go so, i mean i hope you enjoyed watching today's video guys i mean obviously like i said it was a little bit of a different one from me i mean there's definitely loads more like vlogs fashion kind of hauls and more beauty related content coming your way really really soon so i mean do stick around for that because i am still uploading two times a week at the moment obviously this week you had three videos go up but I mean, I definitely do post at least twice a week at the moment. So definitely stick around and make sure you're subscribed down below to make sure you kind of see all my latest content, really. But yeah, so if you did enjoy this video, guys, then please be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. Like I said, there are definitely more videos coming your way soon. But until next time, see ya!